Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 social coins by market cap. We're going to start with Fusionist at number one, followed by Rally, Saray, TokenFi, Only One, Torum, Mint Club, Cello, The Hub, and then we'll end it with Carbon at number 10. Let's get straight into it. Ace against USD. So Ace just got listed like, I don't know, <laughs> one month ago. Uh, and I think it's, it's very overbought uh, at this level. Uh, it's uh, market cap is 181 million. Oh my god! Uh, and it feels to me like uh, we could be heading much lower. This whole thing could be like an A, B, C kind of a chart pattern, right? We're probably gonna go under five dollars. That's my expectation. Uh, this doesn't look like a bullish reversal to me. So yeah, I still think there's more downside for Ace. It. Uh, it's kind of hot right now. The took uh, the uh, the volume is 23 million. No other coin is at 23 million except uh, Fusionist. So yeah, it's pretty hot, but I think it's overbought. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for Fusionist. I think it's overbought. Rally, R-L-Y, U-S-T-T. -T. So for Rally, let's look at it on gate. Uh, Rally is in some sort of an accumulation. Potentially, potentially there could be a reversal. We're still under the skinny pink line though. So I would assume that uh, the bearish trend is still on. However, there could be a reversal soon, right? Uh, if we could just go sideways for a while, right? And not form lower lows, right? If, if we form lower lows, then that, that's, that's, not, that's just not good. Uh, but if we could form higher lows, right? And just keep going sideways, then yeah, this would be awesome. Beautifully awesome, right? If, did happen, if this happened, but uh, again, this <laughs> only time will tell, so... We're gonna keep it in our watch list. Sarah against USDT. Here we are for Sarah. Let's look at it on gate. So for Sarah, um, okay, we're above the skinny pink line, which means that potentially we could be in a bullish reversal, right? This whole thing could be something like an inverse head and shoulders. You see, left shoulder, head. Oh, we could be getting a right shoulder here. No guarantees though. Uh, of course, we could still go back under the skinny pink line, right? Previously, we did break above, but we came back down. So now we're above. Hopefully, we stay above. Consolidate a little bit longer. A few months, two months, three months maybe. And then, bam, we break out here. This would be the best case scenario. So again, we still need time. Uh, we can't tell for sure. So yeah, there's just nothing much for Sarah. There is potential, but we need more information first before doing anything. Token five, token against, I think we have it on BTC, right? Okay, you don't have it. Token against USDT. Let's look at it on gate. Anything for token fine? Uh, no, not really. Uh, okay, so when you see things like this, you ask yourself, is this an A, B, C? Or is this A, this kind of B, right? Is this gonna be a strong rally back up close to the highs of A's? Or is this going to form new lows? Again, we're not entirely sure. Right, it's fairly new though. Uh, and the market cap is at, where is this? 28 million. Is this overvalued? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, any sign? Yeah, nothing much. Could we reverse from here? Of course we could, for sure. Uh, but if you were to see mountains, then more likely than not, it's going to go lower. If you start seeing valleys, then more likely than not, it's going to go higher. But all depends on BDC though. If BDC drops, very likely it's going to affect token fire as well. Only one, like that this is a OnlyFans kind of a coin. Like is above the skinny pink line, which is great. Uh, you can see that there are five waves. One, two, three, four, five. We're up. Uh, we're in the midst of consolidating for wave two. I think there should be a wave three eventually. Wave one, I would assume is 4,700. What? Uh, could we... Replicate it. Oh man, I don't know, bro. 4,007, okay. Because wave 3 is usually the longest, never the shortest, right? So if wave 1 is already 4,007, wave 3, I would anticipate it to be longer than 4,007. But 4,007 will take us to our, the absolute highs over here. So I'm like, hmm. We still could go up though. Um, Probably, if I had to guess, 40 cents, right? Maybe 53 cents, right? So probably here, hum, 40 cents, 53 cents. It's no longer going to be a 4,000x. It could be a 
four cents to forty years. It could be a ten x, but not four thousand. So, yeah, I mean, of course, if you get high quality consolidation, sure, we could be heading higher. But as it stands, uh, we are not too sure yet. So, yeah, we're gonna have to keep it in our watch list. Torum XTM USDT. Here we have a Torum. Anything for Torum? E okay, we're above the skinny pink line, which is good. Again, just like uh, only one. We're hoping for a consolidation. Will it come? Okay, we're not too sure. How low could we go? If I had to guess about three, three point one cent. So just a little bit more, and hopefully a reversal. That's XTM for you. Club, Mint Club, M I N T U S D T. Gate again. Gate is shit <laughs> going central. Uh, anything for Mint? Yeah, we're both the same thing. Client. Anything tradable for us? It's very low liquidity though. So that's why you see weeks, pew, weeks up, weeks, weeks, weeks here and there. Uh, but I will assume that this will be a continuation towards the upside. But uh, I would be careful about low liquidity coins. Cello, 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 cello against USD. <laughs> what you look at this for? What? Um, any clear signs of a reversal? Chop pattern? No. Could this be the very bottom of a downwards trend? Let me just check. Okay, we actually got a hammer over here. You see this weekly hammer. But we still went lower. But it just shows you that buying pressure has already started coming in for Cello. So I would anticipate uh, there to be strong moves towards the upside eventually, monthly. Okay, monthly doesn't look good. A weekly, there was a hammer here. So, oh, interesting. Uh, on the daily, yeah, so you see buying pressure coming in. Right. Uh, as it drops, you could see that the weeks at the lower areas keep getting longer and longer. And after that, it doesn't go any longer, and then it turns green. Green, 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 green. Uh, so the clues are here. See, the weeks keep getting longer and longer. So, yeah, but anyway, no no clear signs of a bullish reversal, so we're not going to be chasing anything. DHOP, DHB, USDT. This is DHOP for you. Okay, so DHOP has potential. Look carefully. This could be a C in the making. You see this? One, two. This could be three, four, maybe five waves down for the hub. Do you see that? Mm, potentially. Potentially something like this could happen. Uh, but it's going to be several months out though. I'm not too sure. Let me just check. Uh, top to top is about 188 days. So you put another 188 days. April maybe? April, May. You may see some sort of a bullish reaction. Uh, something like this. May, June, July, yeah, maybe it's a summer run. Again, uh, we don't know what's going to happen over here. So we need to wait for the wheels uh, to give us more information first before we can do anything for the hub. Carbon! Carbon, yes, D. Here we are for carbon. <laughs> for carbon, though. We're curving back up, though. But yeah, in, in terms of uh, trading. Okay, there's a hammer here. Let's look at a weekly. Anything? Yeah, this could be a bullish engulfing. But still, I would not recommend doing anything for carbon. So yeah, we're going to have to move on. Let's do a little bit more. Uh, let's do donut. Donut! Okay, we don't have donut. Maga! Donut. Here we are for donut. Okay, donut is mucking around the skinny pink line. It's down and then it's up again. Uh, but donut is in some sort of a consolidation, right? Uh, again, we're not too sure whether if this is going to be a C, this kind of C, or we could be consolidating here and continuing higher. So again, we're, we're not too sure. So we're going to have to wait for the whales to do their thing. Olivers, O-L-Y. Let's look at Olivers. Mm, anything for Olivers? Oh, look at the candlesticks. Very low liquidity. Uh, but we're in some sort of an accumulation though, right? You can even consider this as an A, B, C, D, E, right? And it could be a breakout. Uh, but the buys are very small. There's some thousands here and there. Wheels, look at this, dumping. Mm. Is this the same wheel? F65A, what is this? 2B75, 2B76. Oh, wheels are dumping here. Huh. 
prawns are buying, whales are dumping. <laughs> more upside, right? Yes, more likely. Uh, if you were to go any higher, where are we? It's 0 0.001. How oh, high could we go? Mm, we could go to 2 cents though. It's quite a lot. Ooh, 1,008. That's a lot. Hmm. Usually when a bearish trend ends, we go sideways for a while before reversing back up. So there could be something with uh, Oliver's. Let me just check the Twitter. Uh, what's this? Who is Oli? February the 1st. Hmm, I don't know about this. Mm, next would be all oh right, CO. Let's go. CO USDT. Bye beep. Anything for call right? No. Let's see what it looks like here. Anything? Mm, no. Yeah, mirrors by bit. Any yeah no 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 we'll have to wait for something like this right inverse head and shoulders ah best bullish case for correct and um, you can see that volume is rising right yeah look at this the volume rises as it reaches the bottom again volume rises as it reaches the bottom you see this mm, again volume coming in mm, are we reversing could be reversing though. But yeah, not my kind of trade. So yeah, we're gonna have to move on from correct. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top ten, top thirteen actually. Socials token by Market Cap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta -da!